TJ Allison, the house weighs 135 tons. With this being much bigger than your average oversized load, it was no simple task moving this home two miles across town in under three hours. You know, it's kind of bittersweet. It's a journey few homes get to make. Pretty awe-inspiring. Because most homes don't really take a journey. We're happy, we're sad at the same time, but many people in Fargo have had to relocate because of the flood. The Kingsler family says this house is 120 years of history, and despite flood diversion efforts, that history is being preserved. It takes quite a while, about a month and a half we've been in the planning, uh, trying to figure out how the logistics of the width of the house, the height of the house, getting all the power companies, all the sign companies. Street lights and signs were temporarily taken down and power lines lifted up for this 42 foot wide by 46 foot tall Goliath. With roads closed off, drivers and neighbors stopped to take pictures, watching this historic treasure float by. I've never seen a three story house move before and I think it's the coolest thing ever. I'm so glad I get to see it today. This is super random. The family says this isn't the first time it's happened. 25 years ago, they moved this house all the way from Fergus Falls. I was three when that happened. And now Don's daughter Sarah gets to be a part of it once again meticulously hauling history and personal memories. It's nerve wracking, but they're very good movers. We trust them and they are the same movers that did it 25 years ago. A lot of memories in the house. It's hard, hard to leave the lot, but you take the house, you take your family with you. And without a scratch, dent or buff, the Kinsler house safely makes it to its next home. We're so happy. It feels like we're home and the house is home now. It looks like it traveled beautifully. The family says they're living in a motel right now and hope to move back into their house sometime this fall. Nick Broadway, KVRR Local News.